بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum hi friends welcome to another knowledge sharing video in this video we will discuss about the component view of somatic manager it is device oriented view in somatic manager in simple words component view represents hardware structure of pcs7 project or plc project or any siemens automation project the project is displayed with its components for example stations modules and programs Working in component view, you configure the hardware of automation systems, the bus components and the process IOs. In the component view, you create the following object below the projects. Sematic S7400 station, Sematic PC station for the engineering station, operator station and batch stations. So we understand the purpose of component view. Now we will see how we can go through component view and identify the different components of PCS7. Currently plant view active in Smatic Manager. Go to view and select component view. Here you can see lot of project under one multi project. It is CAS or historian. This is related to all client stations or operator stations. OS clients, ES or engineering station, maintenance station and OPC. Next related to OS servers. You can see redundant servers. Usually any simple PCS7 system has one redundant servers. But sometimes one PCS7 system designed to control more than one plant and have more than one redundant servers. You can see here OS underscore CO2 is another redundant server set related to CO2 generation plant. Below you can see PLC1, PLC2, PLC3 and PLC4 projects. These are related to redundant AS automation station or CPU rack stations. If I click on PLC1 project, you can see all components related to this project like CPU rack station or as per Siemens terminology automation station shortly called AS. Profibus networks, Modbus network and industrial Ethernet networks related to PLC1 projects. If you expand PLC1 project, inside you can see redundant CPUs, one related to R0 which means Rack0 and second one is Rack1. Expand CPU related to Rack0, here you can see blocks and charts or in simple words logic program and recipes or flowcharts related to this CPU. In future video, we will discuss every component in detail. In this video, I will just show you that how to go through different components of PCS7. These are different function blocks utilizes in CPU. Again, you can see in object window, multi project name is MP underscore Altur. Under MP underscore Altur, you can see lot of projects. You can assign names of project according to your plant structure and design. So you can easily understand that this project is related to which plant area. It will make your troubleshooting easier. Now expand PLC1 project. You can see the components related to automation station R0 and R1 or we can say components related to Rack0 and Rack1. CPU 417-4H modules, CP443-1 modules for Ethernet communication, CP443-5 extension modules for Profibus communication. To see these components in details and all other input output racks connected with this CPU, click on hardware. Hardware configuration window is opened. Reduce size of lower window. Here you can see details of components installed in racks. In upper window you can see rack 0 and rack 1. You can also see lot of other racks related to IO cards. In Rack 0, first slot is power supply module, second CPU 417-4H module, these two are DP and MPI slash DP ports, H-Sync sub-modules for fiber optic patch cable for synchronization of redundant CPUs. This is CP443-1 module used for communication between CPUs, servers and engineering stations. In Siemens terminology, it is plant bus communication. Last one is CP443-5 extension module used 
for profit bus communication between CPU and IO racks. Detail of each module you can find in lower window, part number, version and addresses of each module you can see here in lower window. You can see modules of rack 1. Same way you can see IO racks input output cards information in lower window. If Modbus module installed in any rack, it can also be shown here. As you can see these last three modules related to Modbus. In future videos, we will discuss each module in detail. Close the hardware configuration window. Component view is also used to configure plant bus and profibus networks. As I told you before, plant bus is the network which creates the communication among CPUs, servers and engineering station. Click on CPU 417-4 modules. You can see connection object inside. Double click on connections. NetPro window is opened. NetPro is used to configure networks in PCS7. Here you can see set of redundant racks of PLC1. Green lines represent the plant bus Ethernet whereas purple lines represent Profibus networks. As I told you that plant bus is responsible of communication among PLCs, servers and engineering station. As you can see here, both green lines are connected with CP443-1 modules of each rack. Purple lines of Profibus connected with CP443-5 extension module. These are creating communication between CPUs and IO racks. If you bring the mouse pointer on plant bus and Profibus, it will show you the detail of networks. Close the NetPro. These are the modules which are used for communication. Now I will show you plant bus network connection of servers. If you click on servers, you cannot find the connections object inside. Connections object you can find inside OPC server object. Double click on connections to open in NetPro. You can see green line of plant bus connected with CP1623 card of servers. Close this window and now I will open connections of any client. Here you can see green line of plant bus is not connected with any client. Scroll right side. Here you can see plant bus connected with CP1623 card of ES1 which is our engineering station. As I told you that plant bus is responsible of communication among PLCs, servers and engineering stations only. Client stations only need communication with servers. For this we use separate network known as terminal bus. Regarding PCS7 networks we will discuss in future. For time being you focus to understand the purpose of component view. The last thing which I want to show you that is how to see inputs outputs in component view. Close net pro window, go to PLC1 and open hardware configuration. Click on any rack. In this rack, there is digital input cards. Right click and select edit symbols option from list. Here you can see addresses and inputs connected with this digital input card. Same way you can see any input output card signals. Friends, purpose of this video is just introduction of component view of PCS7. Hope after this you can go through your project components. We didn't go online, whatever we did it is offline. If you like this video then share to your friends, may it will be useful for them. See you in next knowledge sharing video, till that time, ma salama, Allah hafiz, bye bye.